What is going on everybody? Back with another one. Doreen Collective is the name of the channel. My name is Winthor. I'm drinking one of my favorite energy drinks before. You know where I'm going in a minute. You know it's gonna be jujitsu. I'll probably do another video at jujitsu, so I'll throw another video out probably tomorrow. So quick question, quick video for you guys. I get asked this all the time. Do I enjoy working out? And I get that question asked more more times than I would even expect. It was like you, you must love this, right? Like that's why that's why you do it all. That's why you've been doing it for so long. Like you, you love this stuff. And I hate working out. I cannot stand working out. I do not like working out. I do not like working through these injuries. I do not like, you know, getting up early before work, you know, going to the gym after work. I don't like doing any of this stuff. You know, I don't like pushing through, you know, sometimes a new injury and I can feel it almost getting worse when I'm still, I still have to be in the moment. I still have to work around it. You know, I don't take days off. Maybe that's because of the injuries. That's why I'm getting these injuries. But the thing is, what I do love is, is it even fun for me? Before I even like go, go into that, like, do you even have fun working out? And absolutely not. I can't, it's not fun for me at all, really. You know, I have myself talk for me to sometimes go to the gym. It's probably the most graphic things you'll ever hear. But what I do like, what I do love, what I am passionate about, is being uncomfortable every time. It's being uncomfortable in the fact that I have to show up and put my body through the hell that most people are not gonna be willing to do. But I know you guys out there are putting in that work. And you know some of the people that you know, some of the people in your circle, they're not willing to put in the work that you're putting in the work with you do. I love that. I love the fact that my discipline has to be so on point to not be good this week, two weeks from now, three months from now, a year from now. The fact is I don't have a number. There is no number. I'm always disciplined. And you guys should be too. That's what I'm passionate about. Is it fun for me? Hell no. This isn't fun for me at all. I don't even know what fun is anymore. I don't have fun. Someone asked me that, like, well, what do you do for fun? I don't know. Nothing. My fun for me is, is being uncomfortable and pushing through. My fun for me is never being complacent. My fun for me is always trying to say, okay, how can we make this harder? How can we make the situation uncomfortable? I never ever want to be in a, in a comfortable situation and say, you know what, I can ease up off the gas. That is the first, 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 I'm telling you, that is the first sign of complacency. And it's the first sign that, hey, if you're able to take that one time and ease up, you're gonna take it the second, the third, and the fourth time. So I don't know, I don't have any, I don't wanna have fun anymore. And listen, maybe because of everything that happened, did it, you know, take away some things from me? Did it, you know, take a piece from me? Absolutely. So did it take some of my passions away? Did it take some of my fun away? Did it take, you know, a big chunk of me that was happy? Probably. But where am I finding my joy? Honestly, to lead by example and doing what I need to do to keep pushing forward and hopefully inspire and motivate somebody out there who's watching this video or seeing me do what I do and inspire them and motivate them. That's where I'm getting my, my joy from. That's where I'm happy at. You know, people in my circle where we're holding each other accountable and I can see everybody leveling up and they're forcing me to level up, I find joy in that and I find fun in that. But do I like working out if i was to like working out i'll give you a perfect example in jujitsu when we already had a long ass class and now we're gonna be in there for another hour class is already upwards of an hour and a half let's just start there and then we're gonna be in there for another hour and a half sometimes two hours excuse me this energy drink has me belching putting in some ungodly work round after round after round hopefully i'm gonna just let you know what today i'm just gonna let the camera just run so you can just see what it looks like and we're just going matter of fact, i don't even know if i have a big enough memory card that i could put in one of my other cameras so you can see how long this is but we'll we'll see and putting our bodies and not only our bodies and that's another thing it's not physical 
the physical part is actually easy because once we get to the gym we're here now we can put in the work it starts way 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 before that it starts hours before that it really starts even years when you think about it because it's when you when are you finally going to make that commitment to say you know what i'm not i'm done with the bs i'm ready to put in the work as opposed to always saying i'm going to start next week i'm going to start this week i'm going to start that week and always putting off putting off putting off so when does it really start it starts the moment you say you know what i'm tired of the bullshit and i'm ready to get get to work it's so mental so i don't enjoy it but i do enjoy breaking those mental barriers i do enjoy when i can feel mentally i'm just getting even more disciplined i'm even even more sharp more razor, razor sharp that's what i thrive off of that i get addicted to it that's my addiction you know yes i've been lifting and doing jujitsu and all of that is great yes on the surface level yeah it's cool great okay but on those on that deeper richer level we're in a room where everybody's like, you know what? We gotta get better. And the problem is right in your face. The problem is me. I'm in your face. The problem is other savages in there, in there and they're in your face. And you're doing something that is so un... It's ungodly hard how this is, but you still show up. People know what's gonna happen later on tonight when I come in there. Everyone knows when class is over and I make that call, what are we about to do? And everyone is saying to themselves, why are we doing this? But we, st we still show up. And that's a dangerous person right there. And I thrive off of that. I, I love, that's what I love. That's what I love. It's not the class. It's not yesterday's class. It's the culmination of all of these classes leading up to this point and who stayed around to say, yeah, let's go again. Let's do it again. Let's go again. One more. Sometimes I'm ready to say, all right, I think we got it in for the day. And someone's pushing me to say, no, look, we got one more in it. That's what I like. I don't care about the gym. I'm going to look like however I'm going to look. I'm not, I'm going to be in the gym. But it's that mental discipline to say, even if I'm not there, to still say, you know what? I don't care if he's here or not, I'm putting in the work. And I see that. That's what I thrive off of. That's what I'm passionate about. That's what I'm obsessed about. To being comfortable, that's a good way to put it. To be comfortable, being very uncomfortable. Cause you know, you, you know the type. They've never been through anything. And if, if something was to go wrong in their life, they'll jump out the window so fast it'd be crazy. It wouldn't even know how to handle themselves. I've been through hell and back. I'm learning how to live it, live in pain. I'm learning learning how to live in, in in this hell. And I can still come through and shake your hand and smile. And you don't even know what I'm dealing with. That's what I thrive off of. And constantly building myself. And having that same energy and having that same mind frame and having all those demons going on internally and still see you and want to level you up. That brings me joy. Fun, eh. I don't know what fun is anymore. Who cares? I don't care about that. It means nothing to me. But when I see you challenging yourself, challenging your comfort zone, and saying to yourself, I could do better, and I got the resources to do more, that makes that puts a smile on my face. Because I have to, my day starts with, I gotta bury these demons and say, you gotta go out there, you gotta go, you gotta get, you have to level up. And the minute, the minute I, cause there's times when yes, I don't want, I want to hit that alarm so many times. I want to say, fuck it. Let's just, I'm done. I'm done today. I don't want to do it. And I have to check myself right there because that, that little crack in my discipline, I'm telling you, it'll open up very fast. So you think about that the next time you want to have that cake and you want to have this and you think about, yeah, have that. It's just this one time, okay? That one time is going to come again. You're going to have a few one times. You're going to have a few more one times, one times. And then you're going to be wondering why you got to wear a shirt at the beach. Let's get it, guys. More videos are on the way. 
if my self talk I have to start giving you my self talk I hope you guys are ready because my self talk is horrific but that's what keeps me accountable every day and I'm not looking and it has to be internal I was always looking for external validation and no it was all internal like it's it's internal for you guys the power is in you it's in all of you all this video does and all these videos that I'm shooting is hopefully to ignite it just to shine a little light on what's already in you so you can bring it out more videos on the way let's get it <laughs>